am studying in Mangalore University and I am from Afghanistan. As you know, the crisis that is going in, our, in, Af in Afghanistan, you can see in media and uh, you, are all, uh, you, you are all aware of the situation. Uh, people all just want to come out of the country because no one wants to, uh, no one wants to stay under the territory of the Taliban because Taliban are not from our country. They, uh, they just want to come out at this situation. All the people are uh, have rushed in the airport and uh, the situation is too bad. So many people every day they are losing their lives. lives. And my parents also, uh, every day I'm asking about them, I'm worried about them. Uh, they are just, nowadays they are just staying in the home, in the house, and they cannot go out. Especially my mother and my sister, they cannot go out because they are afraid of the Taliban. Uh, no one knows what will, uh, what they will do, at what time, uh, or because of what reason. Uh, uh, that's the situation right now in my in my country. I'm. I want to thank and appreciate the commissioner of uh, police commissioner of Mangalore, uh, Mangalore City, because uh, uh, for the organizing of this meeting to listen to our concerns or, and our problems and uh, our families that we are worried about them to listen about this and to have a solution for us. Uh, I just want to thanks from the police com commissioner of uh, Mangalore City. Uh, the problem for women, as you can see in media, women are not coming out much uh, like before. Uh, everyone is worried, they cannot go to their works, they, they cannot go to schools, everything is closed and uh, uh, they are only staying in, uh, in their homes. Uh, this uh, situation will continue if the uh, Taliban uh, don't go out of our country because they have the same idea, uh, ideology as they had before. So uh, women are the most victims of this uh, territory of Taliban. So I just hope Taliban go out of my country and my uh, sisters and uh, our mothers, they are staying there to uh, feel safe and go to their work and continue to, to their education. Uh, some issues that uh, we have already uh, concerned about that we have uh, shared with the commissioner of uh, police of Mangalore uh, city and he has already uh, promised us that he will coordinate and solve it and he guaranteed our uh, safety in Mangalore. You know that uh, today the Afghanistan situation is very critical and uh, uh, the people in Afghanistan they are suffering mentally uh, because once we already experienced the regime of Taliban so, uh, uh, of course, everyone is concerned about their family members and they would like to uh, call their family members. And we can say that, fortunately, the government of India uh, provided the e-emergency visa for uh, the people who would like to take uh, the e-emergency visa and come to India. I hope that uh, this uh, e-emergency visa uh, continues and the people who suffer to be under the regime of Taliban and live in Afghanistan with mentality and also with the tortures, they could come to uh, India and uh, live their lives here better with the Indian brothers and sisters. Taliban, uh, 20 years back, uh, they, they, they were with another uh, kind of ideology. I hope this time uh, this uh, ideology uh, uh, cannot uh, be uh, once again uh, uh, experienced by the people of Afghanistan because uh, we have uh, the, uh, we have the uh, scare of uh, the ideology of uh, Taliban 20 years back. So we are scared now, we are afraid of uh, uh, once again experiencing those uh, torture, those kind of uh, brutality in Afghanistan. Uh, actually, uh, the ideology of uh, Taliban is that not let the women to come to the society and also to work for the uh, reconstruction and development of Afghanistan. Uh, that's what we don't want and we Afghan people always support our uh, Afghan sisters in order to come into society because the society is uh, made by men and women and women is half of uh, the development. So we always uh, support the, uh, the, the women in order to be in the society and work uh, freely. But unfortunately uh, the, the ideology of Taliban and their system is like they won't let the women to come in the society and they want the women only to sit at home and that's it. How many students studies in Mangalore? 
actually the students in Mangalore city, they are above 50 students. But uh, this year, uh, as we know that there is an ICR scholarship, the students amount are going to increase. And uh, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, India um, uh, uh, co co cooperate with uh, the students that they have already taken their uh, ad admission and uh, offer later. They cooperate with them that they should come here and survive and live a peaceful life. What's your opinion about uh, uh, America's as I'm a business student, administration student, so I, I don't have that uh, political idea, but what is going on in my society, I can say that uh, in, in our society, the game uh, was playing uh, uh, very uh, 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 hidenly, that no one was knowing what's happening. And uh, suddenly the president of Afghanistan escaped and uh, the situation changed. And uh, this was, uh, we, we understand that this was a very, very, very big game gaming in Afghanistan. And uh, uh, we were not expecting that. But hopefully that uh, we, we, we hope and we, we wish that uh, Taliban mindset is changed and they accept all the ethnics in Afghanistan and they let the women to uh, do their job and they, they do not change any kind of uh, uh, 